जान्हवी हियर ॲट इव्होल्युशनरी इकॉलॉजी लॅब वी स्टडी बायोडायव्हर्सिटी अराउंड अस वी आस क्वेश्चन्स लाईक हाऊ मेनी स्पीशीज आर देअर हाऊ हॅव स्पीशीज इव्हॉल्व वाय स्पीशीज आर वेअर दे आर हाऊ इकॉलॉजी जिओलॉजी क्लायमेट हॅज शेप देअर इव्होल्युशनरी हिस्ट्री अँड टू अड्रेस दिस क्वेश्चन्स वी यूज मल्टिपल मॉडेल सिस्टम्स इन्क्लुडिंग टेरेस्ट्रियल सॉइल ऑथ्रोपोर्ट्स वुडी प्लांट्स बर्ड्स इन द इंडियन ट्रॉपिकल फॉरेस्ट which are exceptionally biodiverse systematics is the study of classifying different kinds of organisms with an evolutionary perspective and the lowest unit of classification is called a species during the process of speciation a new species develops changes across various lines of evidences and most of which is morphological which is why most of taxonomic knowledge is based on morphological differences but there are other lines to it as well beat on the lines of genetic differences or the chemical composition of the species in the lab we use multiple lines of evidences to describe and identify different species so one of the key aims of the lab is to look at the origin and distribution of lineages over evolutionary time period and this is termed as historical biogeography and we use peninsula india as a case study to examine how deep past processes have shaped the current diversity and distribution of lineages and we do this by combining uh, information on the molecular data fossil and also current distribution to examine how these past processes have shaped where organisms are currently distributed and how they have diversified furthermore we intend to understand how organisms have uh, speciated gone extinct and have assembled within a certain landscape peninsular indian landscape is the model system in our lab and we essentially look at organisms that exist in the western ghats biodiversity hotspot we use time calibrated phylogenies uh, which has been which have been calibrated using fossils and uh, using molecular data from the dna and using these time calibrated phylogenies we understand how organisms have uh, increased in their number of species over time and how have they assembled across uh, uh, environmental climatic gradient within the western ghats and across the peninsula of india so apart from studying all these biogeography and species diversification uh, studies in our lab what we also try to understand is how traits evolve in nature and what are the ecological as well as evolutionary drivers that govern these trait dynamics and uh, one such excellent model system which is very interesting to work with is animal venoms and in our lab we work with centipede venoms trying to understand how they have evolved and what are the potential drivers that are governing their dynamics so basically when any live animal comes to the lab uh, we first extract their venoms by giving electric current and the entire process is mediated by something which is known as a tens unit also known as trans electrical neuro stimulation unit after the venoms are extracted we then do their dissections and do their venom gland transcriptomics integrate the transcriptome and proteome study to understand how these traits evolve so once their venoms are extracted and we have dissected their tissues we use sophisticated molecular tools such as mass spectrometry and gland transcriptomics to understand that as a whole how centipede venoms have evolved to document their diversity across multiple locations in peninsular india so apart from this we are also trying to understand that how diet influences venom evolution and how is venom complexity related or correlated with the diet complexity and for that we also use sophisticated tools uh, such as gut meta barcoding again with these uh, centipedes as our model system in nutshell we aim to understand how biodiversity has originated and is being maintained over millions of years and at a large spatial scale like mountain range or a continent